Praise the Lord. Welcome to AIM. Guys, we're here near our house, but we drove. <laughs> drove the little car. Um, my husband's here. He wanted to come and check on the building project, as he does often, and asked me, did I want to ride with him this time? I said, yes. So here is one uh, plot right here that a client of ours has bought. And then the two plots there are what the building project is. What's being worked on is the wall. Very important, guys. First of all, we had to wait a little bit because of the ground where the excavator had to come. And we had to wait a little bit for it to be solid where it was coming from. You know, the big truck has to bring it and everything. So, um, yeah, we had to wait a little bit. Then we got this cleared. Um, and now we're working on the wall building project. So we're going to come and check it out, see how things are going. Um, here's some of the blocks. And uh, we're going to come and see how things are going. So right here is one plot. But this um, project entails two plots. So this is how it is. The two plots. Jeffo is here. He is uh, a mason, actually. Um, he is a mason by trade. But when we came, he helped us for a long time around the house. He still helps us a lot. He's the one who made my garden for me. Tilled it and all that good stuff. So, yeah. So that is what we got going on. And our new helper, I think that's him there in the uh, in the wheelbarrow. But he's also helping Ethel. Um, yeah, my husband's talking to him. And we're coming to see the project and see how it's going. So Evo is here. Not only is he a mason, but he's overseeing the project for us. Um, making sure the people are here to work. And yeah, guiding them in how it is to be done. Yeah, they have the laborers here. So there's another mason down there. Evo has brought. Okay, guys. So yeah. We're here. There are two, two masons, two laborers for right now. I think some are on break. And um, yeah, it's super hot out here, guys. Super duper hot, but that's what they do. That's their job and they're used to it. So yeah. So like I said, we had to wait to grade the land. It's good to get the big, big trees, especially when there's palm trees on your land. It's good to get them out before you do anything on your property because you don't want the excavator trying to come through your gates and all that kind of stuff. It's just too much. So um, yeah, so this is what's going on. This wall will be the same height as our wall at our house. I'm trying to get over here to the shade, guys. Yeah. So here we are in the shade. Yep. There's my husband checking on things, making sure things are going well. And, uh, yeah, checking it out. So, Jacob is the one bringing the blocks. So he is our helper in the mornings. Um, yeah. So he's the one bringing the blocks over there for them, supplying them with the blocks. And then um, there's some mixing the cement and bringing it. And then um, there's some laying the blocks. Yep. So they dug this foundation by hand in case you guys haven't seen it yet. Seen the video previous. Now, 
give you a brief rundown so you don't have to I mean I would love for you to go back and watch it but I give you a brief rundown in case you can't have time to do that so what they do is they hand dig the foundation the reason they hand dug it is it will take more cement to fill the hole if you get the machine to dig it because the machine is a certain width right and it takes a lot of cement and we'll walk over here and i'll show you guys so for the foundation of the wall you don't really need it to be that whole width okay they've they've filled it back in but what i wanted you to see okay i'll show you on another video or you might have to go back and watch a previous video so you see how the width of the block is right and you see the width of the foundation here right so let me see if i can get back around here <clears throat> excuse me guys i have like a little cold it's about going away now but it just um cleared my throat a lot and stuff i think i slept with the air conditioning on which it felt super good but um normally we've been turning it off we'd get it cool in the bedroom and then turn it off so we're not sleeping with it because it blows right on my head I'm just maneuvering myself through this grass because I really want to get over here. I didn't want to go that way and show you guys. Okay, so you see how the foundation was like there and the block is narrow. I mean, it's the same size block as our wall, but I'm just saying it's narrower than the foundation, right? You see how the foundation is, right? So it's from like here to here, or where am I? Yeah, here to here. So the block is laid in the middle and there's enough room probably for another block on each side. So there is no need for you to dig the foundation even wider and then fill it with cement to cover it up, right? That's a waste of money. So that is why they dig it by hand, not easier, by, by no means it's not easier, but it is more cost effective. And um, when they're doing four plots, they rent the cement mixer and everything. When they're doing the two like this, um, we have not rented the cement mixer. Yep. So that's how they're doing it now. Now I'm sure once they start building, we'll have to rent the mixer and everything like that. But for the wall build, um, this is two plots. So this one is a, a little bit different. If you see some of the um, videos from way back when I showed you the four plot wall build, you'll see they had the cement mixer and everything. Yeah, that's when the Bodleys came and visited the site. I thought it was very important for them since they were going to be building um, in the f near future. I thought it was very important for them to come out and see how the wall was being built out here so they would have somewhat of an idea of you know, real boots on the ground getting over here and putting their eyes right there on it so they could see. Yeah. So if you guys go back, you can watch the Bodleys came to visit that uh, wall build. So I am currently standing in what will be a road. It is a road. It's, it's um, surveyed as a road. But for right now, you see it's overgrown um, just because nobody's been back here, right? And um, yeah, so this will be the road. There's the two plots. This will be the road. There are four plots over here on the other side of the road. 
and then I believe okay from here down one plot has been sold there's possibly one plot over there possibly um, when they came out they said they would have to measure in order to see if it's actually a plot but this place is very fertile guys very very nice very fertile uh, very beautiful very peaceful and yeah this is what it looks like guys this is what it looks like they have a small patch of land just on the other side of the plots here that they plant okra and stuff in so that place is not developed it's like a little mini farm type thing right but you can see the big big um, buildings that have gone up around nice buildings that have gone up and um, it's a very nice area nice and upcoming area um, we have sold several people plots over in this area and if you guys see some of the other previous videos you'll see that I've walked from the house while Nana rode his bike and I've walked from the house to here um, a very short walk so if you guys want to know how close it is you go back and watch that video you'll see um, very short walk we do choose to um, to drive sometimes like today it is super hot I don't know how my husband is standing the heat over there but it's part of the work he has to do that he has to look he has to count he has to make sure um, the materials are being used well uh, we trust Afu Afu is a, a excellent guy and trustworthy honest man um, but it's business right so my husband is here to oversee and make sure and this isn't the first and only time he'll be out here he'll be out here many many times while they're working during the day um, each day he'll come and see how things are going along and keep an eye on things and they bring everything back to the house when they finish i think um Efu's children are coming <laughs> um yeah, they just got water, got a water break. So, um, yeah, so he keeps an eye on everything and sees how everything is going and makes sure that everything is done well. And then you'll see the rest of the build as it goes along. Stay tuned to the channel. Um, like I said, the community, very, very good community. Um, very good community. You will see. I think they found something. I don't know if it's a snake or. A... Oh, what? They'll kill it. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Maybe it was even a lizard. <clears throat> That's why you um, secure your compound, right? And then uh, you can also, there are things to natural things and chemical things, whichever you choose to use. They have those things here. Um, we choose a more natural approach and then um, keep the snakes away, right? husband's talking to the boys but anyway I was telling you guys about the community okay and the road construction is going on check out that video I just uploaded that um, previous to this video the road construction is going on uh, really really going to be a game changer for us and uh, the community is very very good we have come together to put street lights up and do the roads and know ourselves and know each other and know 
the businesses that are around so it's a good way to get your your business out there whatever business you're doing and um, you know just come together as a community if you have questions or needs or concerns you can call somebody and you know they guide you in the right direction so it's a very good community uh, good good people bought land over here and won't you be our neighbor so I'm excited for this couple really excited for this build project going on I know it is going to be um, really really great for them and I guess that's about it guys if you're interested in purchasing any of the plots here or any farmland which is also a very lucrative investment here in Ghana if you're interested in purchasing them just contact my husband, Maxwell Mensa, on WhatsApp. You'll find his contact information on the Contact Us page of our website, aaimcs.com. Go to the Contact Us page, check it out, check out the map. You can find out where we're located. And the farmland is in the eastern region of Ghana. We are in the Ga West District of Accra. And um, yeah. So that's what we got going on. So my husband's still surveying everything, making sure they're doing the amount they're supposed to and making sure the amount of blocks are there. Yep, but I'm gonna let you guys go with that. I think I'm ready to uh, head back. Super duper hot out here. But I wanted to get this video for you guys and show you how things are going and show you um, the progress thus far we still have the wall here this is where the gate will be um, we still have the wall there and here but for now this is what we got going on nice mountain views are here as well um, if you guys can see I'm just kind of um, not up the trees and everything have grown up but there's nice mountain views as well all right, guys, I'm going to let you go with that. Till next time, God bless you.